ladies and gentlemen, Ilona Yahya. Look at that, Ilona, thank you so much. That was so lovely. You can have a seed. Like a wow, place. Ilona, oh thank gosh. you so much for that. How old are you, first of all? I'm 15 years old. Pip mm. Okay, <laughs> 15 I'm done with years that. old. <laughs> I'm done with that. I rest my what? case. <laughs> <laughs> that is so lovely, thank so you. beautiful. Even, even I feel graceful yeah. just watching it. <laughs> so actually, Ilona is a young professional dancer who has won several ballet competitions, you know, such as winning the gold medal in the International Ballet Competition Asian Grand Prix 2017 and 2018, Malaysia International Grand Prix wow. 2019, and also Youth Grand Prix Indonesia. My yes. goodness. Ilona. At such a young age, so Thank many you. achievements. Um, you're incredible, but I want to know what made you fell in love with ballet in the first place. Okay, so um, when I was a little kid, I really loved to watch Barbie movies. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it was okay. my childhood movie. So as Hans though. <laughs> oh, yes. Barbie. Especially the ballet Barbie movies. And one of my favorite movie is Barbie and the Pink Shoes. And mm -hmm. that's how I joined ballet. And so I told my mom I really wanted to try ballet. How old were you back then? I was six. I started ballet when I was oh, okay. six. So, um, at the age of 15, you've won uh, so many um, ballet competitions <laughs> and also probably the ones that you didn't win. <laughs> but what was uh, your most memorable ballet competition? So, actually for me, every of my ballet competition is really memorable for mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. because each competition has its own experience and memory. But my favorite one and the most memorable one for me was when I competed at New York. Wow. Back at 2019 wow. okay. for YAGP, Youth America Grand Prix. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So for Youth American Grand Prix. But um, as we all might, uh, we, we, we might see from, from your performance, there are lots of ballet techniques mm -hmm. involved. Yes. Yeah. Right? But what is your most favorite one? Because, you know, um, in, in ballet training, uh, you have to do all of it, mm -hmm, all yes. of it. But you must have uh, one uh, particular technique that you like the most. Which one is that? Um, everything is really hard, but I enjoy and I do fun the most fuetes. So fuetes are like repetitive turns. Mm -hmm. okay. And for me, it's really fun to do because at first when I tried it, you fall and you get dizzy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, it's really fun to do. And usually, principal dancers does that role. Mm -hmm. So if you get the main role, you have to do like 32 or 64 fuetes. So Whoa, 30, 32 <laughs> 32. or 64? Yes. Can you show me how, how yes. what's, what's the... Okay, so... How, how, how does it work? So, so the, the one that you did uh, before the oh, end. Oh, that one is Amanash. So oh, like that's Amanash. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So for this, are like you turn, but you have to spot your head like that, oh, and you okay. do it repetitively. Like. Oh my God! And that is your favorite wapiru word. Okay. Yes, because it's fun Whoa. to do. <laughs> wow, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and you don't get dizzy doing that. At first, I get dizzy, but now I'm used to it. So. Oh, okay, you can you can, um, uh, you can take get your, your seat back. back. <laughs> wow. So, wow. Okay. So that was your favorite uh, favorite dancing move. But yeah. do you have any specific dance that you like? You know, my specific dance. I so I done a lot of solo variations, mm -hmm. and probably my favorite one would be. I like La Fille and Paquita. La Fille and Paquita. Yeah, so I've done the Paquita uh, for New York 2019 mm -hmm. and La Fille for Taiwan Grand Prix and Malaysian International Grand Prix. Wow. wow. So uh, uh, the one in New York in which you won? Um, so this competition is called Youth America Grand Prix. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And we have the regionals and also the finals. Mm -hmm. And yes, I won in the regionals mm -hmm. in Jakarta. YGP uh, uh -huh. in the finals. I didn't place, but I got scholarships from Houston Ballet, American <sighs> Ballet Theater, and like Berlin. Did you take it? Yes, I took the Houston Ballet School. Summer Houston Hi. Ballet School. For how many? For how long was it? I got a full scholarship for their summer intensive, so it's for a whole month. For a whole yeah. month. Wow. 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 Okay. So I know that I. I I studied ballet for I think <laughs> around six months because, <laughs> because I just I know I'm not a dancer I'm not a good dancer but um, I want to know um, 
we talked about how you fell in love with ballet, but uh, you know, some of the movements are very hard mm -hmm. and it took yes. determination to really do it. So can you tell me about your discipline and how many times do you um, exercise doing, mm -hmm. during the okay. week? So I'm actually homeschooled because mm. I'm more focused on ballet. So semi-homeschooled, I'm like, I go to school twice a week yeah. so that the other days I could go full time. Mm -hmm. So we do ballet around six to seven hours a day. Six to seven hours a day? Yes, that's only the like full-time program. So I'm in full-time program at Royal Pee Dance Academy. And also we have like the graded ones. So it's like seven plus an hour and a half. Wow, wow. right. Wow. So it's kind of eight, eight hours yeah, a day. Eight it's, yeah, it's, it's if we have competitions hour. and like performance, then it's more. <laughs> so we've been hearing about this a lot. I mean, yeah. uh, how how ballet dancers, ballerinas are um, are training like really hard. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. What what you were just saying, eight hours a day. Because you'll watch the Black Swan, right? Yeah, you watch, <laughs> you watch Black Swan and all the challenges imposed for uh, ballerinas and stuff. But um, how, what do you suggest to? Um, people who are watching at the moment, uh, if they want to start doing ballet and stuff like that, because, you know, in hindsight, it's really hard. Yes, um, yeah, ballet is not easy. It's not for everyone. But I say if you really have the passion and if you want to try, just do it. And like, you, especially in ballet, I think you have to have the patience, commitment mm. to go through the process, because it's not easy. Agree. The commitment. Yeah, it doesn't like go by like, a year <laughs> you have to be good and like yeah you just have to like stay in the process be patient and go through it so. I see okay. so I also want to know um, Ilona as a, a young uh, ballerina because we know that um, when when we talk about ballet there are certain you know um, there are certain thoughts um, regarding this ballet that you have to diet more mm -hmm. uh, with your body posture and all do you have any specific views during that um, you know, um, talking about that um, that specific specific um, views. Mm. You know? I feel like everyone has a different like type how they want to control their body, how they mm -hmm. want to do their own diet, yeah, or yeah, things. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's personal to each other. I think it's mm -hmm. more of a different. Maybe like me, I, maybe I can do more exercises or I can cut off some foods if I don't want yeah, to, yeah, and, like, yeah. so that I could maintain my body. I feel. Like yeah. Okay, so talking about personal preferences, uh, we know that ballet also <coughs> has uh, different styles, mm -hmm. um, refers as in um, the French style, if I'm not yes, mistaken, yes. the Russian style, and uh, you also have uh, the style from the uh, from England, if I'm not uh -huh, mistaken. Yes. So which one is uh, your pr uh, your favorite one? I like Vaganova, so it's from Russia. From Russia. Wow. Yeah, so we're trained at the we're trained from the Vaganova um, style. Mm -hmm. Vaganova. What do you like about the style? It's more of like a flowy and like more dancing. So mm. there's this um, syllabus called Royal Academy of Dance, and yeah. that one is more like square, and you have to like be. Just like that. Very composed. Yeah, I like Vaganova more because it's more dancing. Ah, okay. But are there any difference between ballet um, in Indonesia and you know, all around the world? Mm -hmm. So when I went to Houston Ballet for their summer intensive this past July, mm -hmm. it was actually really fun. It was a really, really um, nice experience for me because Houston Ballet is one of the top schools in America. So I'm really honored to be receiving a scholarship from them, a full mm -hmm. scholarship. And I feel like um, the teachers there are really diverse. So different teachers, different method of teaching. Mm -hmm. So, and they're really open-minded. So we can express ourselves how we want and there's no right or wrong. And yeah, and like they're really organized, like their schedules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really organized. And I just love the environment. <laughs> mm, nice. Do you want to try? If I could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. God. So um, this is a challenge uh, for Hans. Um, mm -hmm. So do you remember uh, the first step in learning ballet? Maybe you can show Hans how to do it. Okay. How? Okay, how... This is gonna be another <laughs> challenge for me. So, so yeah, I have, I have to take my shoes off. By because way. I'm wearing heels. Yes, of course. Please do it for me. Yeah, yeah. I will. I will. Uh, I will do everything. For <laughs> okay. 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 All right, is, let's is, do it. is this your okay. first time trying ballet? No, I had a ballet training for one year. <laughs> Okay. okay. 
Teach me, how? Okay, so usually the first steps are when I first went to ballet schools, it's, it was actually really fun. We just do like fun jumps and mm -hmm. fun point and flex. So since you've done ballet, so maybe we could try something <laughs> fun. Okay, So let's do some fun. Okay, well ballet, there's five basic positions. Yeah. You probably must know that, so. You can inform. It's um... the first position. This is the first position. So you just have to open your feet like that. And this is first position. And then there's second, you just have to open your legs. And third, this is third. And fourth, you just have to cross your leg at the front. And fifth, usually people can't do this, they do like, <laughs> so this is fifth. And that's the five basic positions. And so now maybe we could try to do something fun. Okay. So this is <laughs> called arabesque. Okay. This okay. Is, this is what, what I do, I do with the words. <laughs> my, it's my fun for you, training. but not for The arabesque. Okay, uh -huh. teach me how to do the arabesque. Okay, so you turn to your back leg. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Your back and then you leg. just lift up your leg. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're doing it nicely. Yeah, you have to stretch your legs so your legs can't be bent. Yep. Like it's actually my pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And you go lift up. Yay! Yes. Hey. <laughs> That's nice. Say another one. Okay, and this is Deflope a la Like that. Whoa, okay. Of course not. Whoa, of course whoa. not. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Okay. That's the best you can do? Of course. <laughs> okay, another one? Another one. You want to try turns? Oh, yeah? Okay. okay, so we start in fourth position. Uh huh. So, yes, like that, and you go. My no. turn is to the... Right. So you lift up your right leg and turn to the right. Yeah. Yes! Yay! <laughs> and then now you just have to spot your head like that. Yeah, I still have it. I still have it. Okay. Try it once more. Once more, okay. <laughs> oh my god! Is it the right... The right... Focus? Yeah. Focus hands? Okay. And go. Oh! Yes. oh! oh! God, I still oh, have nice. it! I still have it. Okay, the one with passe, but oh, okay. No. <laughs> All right, okay. Thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wow, quite a good, um, you know, reminiscing for me with my ballet training. <laughs> and um, of course, let's take a break. We will have a recap of our news from the previous segment. So stay with us. Is it possible to do ballet with a heel? Of course not. <laughs>